Hello fellas, welcome back. If the previous video was all about the sys module, today we're going to look into the OS module, which is uh, something you should be really familiar with if you're uh, into Python and cybersecurity. So, as you might guess, the OS module allows us to interact with the operating system from within Python. Uh, and, of course, you will get different outputs if you're in Windows versus being in Linux or Mac. Now, let's look at a few basics uh, in the Python interpreter. So, let's go to desktop scan, which is uh, the folder that I uh, have these uh, scripts on. And let's start a Python interpreter. Okay, so... Um, Let's import OS and then let's look at all the things the OS module can do by typing OS dot and then hitting the tab key for auto completion. And there's a lot going on here as you can see. Okay, so first worth mentioning is the OS dot system, which allows us to execute shell commands. So if we say OS dot system, who am I? It says that I am Christy. Okay, and since we are in Windows right now, let's say os.system, system info, all right. Which is basically the same thing as running the system info into a command prompt. So if I open up another command prompt and say system info, it does basically the same thing. That's why OS system allows us to interact with the... Uh, allows us to execute uh, shell commands. Okay, now um, another one is OS get login, which also gives us the user that's logged in, the current user that's logged in. Another one is OS get CWD, which stands for get current working directory, and it's going to print, uh, it's going to tell us the directory in which we are at the moment. And we can see that it has double uh, double slashes here. Okay, another one is OS list there. And if we just call it as a function, if we don't provide any parameter within the parentheses, it will list the current working directory. Okay, so we could um, we could also do uh, we could also specify. Uh, the directory that we want to um, uh, list the files and folders in by actually giving it the full path to it. And let me show you if I say users Christy desktop scan, uh, it won't, it will give us an error because we didn't uh, use double, uh, double slashes here. We, we kind of didn't escape. Uh, as you can see, Unicode escape, we have a syntax error. But if we double them, one, two, three, and four, we get the same thing. So we get an output. All right. Uh, we could also say OS list there. So we can call it without anything in the parentheses and it will list whatever is in the current working directory. But we could also say OS get CWD and actually fill in with the current working directory. So it's kind of uh, the same thing. All right. Uh, now that's fine and dandy, but that's, uh, let's actually do something more useful. Let's write a script that will uh, determine the operating system. And depending on the output, it will give us information about the system. So let's move to Visual Studio Code here. And we'll import OS. Let's also uh, import platform. Now let me show you something about the platform. So if we import platform and if we also import sys, which is a module that we've uh, worked with previously, and we say sys.platform, it says win32. But if we say platform.sys, um, thumb, platform.system, and we call it as a function, it tells us windows. 
So this is kind of basically the same thing, sys.platform or platform dot, uh, dot system. it tells us that we are in Windows. And it's better if we, we use platform.system because it gives the full name of the operating system. Okay, so what do we want to do in our script over here? Let's say if platform.system equals equals windows, then what do we want to do? Let's say that we want to print OS system system info okay what else do we want to do let's say print let's also save this to file so we go on a new line and say saving to file dot 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 and how do we save it to file well simply as system system info piped into info.txt so we could say let me exit this system info system info into info.txt and everything that gets out system gets out of the system info goes into info.txt so if we read info.txt we can see all that's there all right okay so that happens if uh, uh, python determines that we are in windows elif platform dot system equals equals linux what do we want to do then well then we'll print os system and what do we use uh, in unix to actually get an idea of the operating system we use uname minus a okay and then let's also say print saving to file dot 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 and then os system uname minus a into info.txt which is basically the same thing that we did for windows okay let's also do an else statement else print couldn't let's also use double quotes here so print so that we can easily use the single quote couldn't determine the operating system control s okay now let's run this and see it in action so let's there and then let's uh, delete info.txt there okay now let's run python os methods dot py and hopefully we don't have any errors we also printed it to the screen and then saving it to file and then if we dir again we have the file over there and if we look into the file we have all that information over there okay and that's an easy way you can use the OS module in your uh, penetration testing assessments. What you could also do here is to use the FTP lib module and uh, after saving the info.txt file, you would send it uh, to yourself or to a remote location with FTP lib. Uh, so you would send it to an FTP server. I actually showed you how to use FTP lib in a previous video of grabbing screenshots with Python. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. In the next video, we're going to look at the sub process module. Thank you for watching.